Michael Katsidis the Great. We, uh, pick something that's not broken as he digs some crucial big body shots into the, the body of Lazada. Who did he turn again. that over? He's upstairs as he really turns his head over. Some straight punches to the head here. Lazada. Lazada's in the corner at the moment. He comes out with a looping, well, I don't know what you'd call it, punch. But Cedar's so much more crisp. And he's going to push him right back into that corner. And he's, he's really bullying Michael Lazada at the moment. They're right in front of us. And we can see Katsidis who's leading off with that jab. And it's, um, it's, it's causing concerns. It's starting everything for him. And uh, you see Brendan Smith asking Michael Katsidis to be right on his foot, moving around, leading with that jab. That head movement's good. The chant for Katsidis goes up, and I know this will lift him, because as I said, it's something he hasn't heard for five years, fighting That's overseas. Right. I'd like to see Mick just, just change the pace of his punches. Just every punch seems to have everything on it. I'd like to see him mix that up and try and catch uh, Lazada out. Just, just a little bit of soft, a little bit of speed, then drop in some real good power shots and yeah. mix that up. Back in this corner and tell you what, Lazada's in trouble here, but he, he does well to get out of that corner. Good he's work. moving around, but, um, but again, he seems to have some concerns with referee. Michael Katsidis just jumps straight on him, goes straight back to that body, ripping with those lefts and rights to, uh, to down low. And, and Michael Lazada, oh, oh yeah. yeah. A big body punch. I don't know if he'll survive this. He's down the counts up to five. No, he's done. Michael Lazada's finished. His night is over. This will be a knockout win to Michael Katsidis. He's as taken. Count reaches 10, and he's waved it away. He Michael didn't want to Katsidis. go on. The body attack. Scheduled for eight the water. lightweights. Michael Rocky Katsidis again all over his opponent. Backing him up early. Clubbing with the left hand. Bustos in trouble again here at the start of round number four. What Michael's doing, John, is first he comes up and he hooks to the body, and then the next time the Argentinians look at him, that left hook, that's a knockdown. Charlie's going to pull his one. Four, five. Into the right hand, it was a flash knockdown, if anything, but it counts according to our referee, Charlie Lucas. Okay, box. He was on the end of a punch, and I mean, you know, a knuckle punch is scored with a knuckle part of the glove and a scoring part of the body, and you get in. Doesn't matter whether it's a split or still a knockdown. Oh, there he is, left hook again. The now come in from the corner, Ivan Bustos has seen enough, for Michael Rocky Katsidis overpowers his Argentinian opponent. He's now won 13 straight, and they know he's stopping to. Katsidis to improve his record. Let's have a look at the finishing touches here. As you see, he was sliding to the canvas, but there was contact. What do you call it? Flash knockdown. And that was the second time in the fight that Ivan Bustos was on the canvas. He's only been stopped twice before in his career, and then the towel comes in from the red corner. Argentinian had seen enough. Had some moments in the first round against Rocky Katsidis, but after that, the power, the strength, the pace, it was all one-way traffic for Michael Katsidis. You know, I'm not too sure, but the Chavez might not have hurt his left hand. He switched off Paul for a minute, and it looked like he's backed off the docks, but he switched off Paul, and he just got hit with a good overhand right. Yes, he did. That got his attention. But he threw that left hand early in this round and moved that hand out of there like it was injured. If you watch it as he uses his shoulders, he just got hit with a one-two. Or being used a lot in this fight, and that's an old-school move. Yes. Both fighters have really swelling above and below the left eye of Katsidis and blood flowing from that cup in the hairline of Chavez. Four unanswered, five unanswered punches from Katsidis. And there's another right hand offense, and both are. I think Katsidis has closed this final round very well. It might be enough for him to take the round. And he is, whenever he sees that blood flow, he brings it. He does. Great slight momentum change. We'll see what happens in this round. But well, Chavez just got hit with a right hand by Steve, and he just just, just threw another right hand. He's skimming and taking. Katzen is landing a very impose his will a little bit on Chavez. And that, right hand drove into the ropes. And that Barry is Katzen's at his best. And mine as a corner, and concentrate on taking care of your fighter. This is catching up. That's what I think too. And the blood is streaming down Chavez's face, and you know, break since the fight's been on seven rounds. But it's going to pick up, I believe. As soon as one get a good punch, another one's going to react to it. And you're going to see it now. Katsidis did slip a good left hand in. And even though it's not as intense action as we had in the fifth round, um, 
it, it, it looks like it's favoring Katsidis. Right uppercut by Katsidis, and that drove Chavez back into the ropes. Barry, do looks he hasn't proven in this fight that he has a power to hurt Michael Katsidis. Well, you're hitting with everything but the kitchen sink, and you're right, though. It's an advantage, true. Sure. No, no. It looks like maybe he's not going to continue. Possibly. It's oh, over. Good. It's over. And that could possibly be the best thing that happened to Chavez. Well, I don't know. Are, are they stopping it because no, Chavez doesn't want to no, continue? No, if he doesn't want to continue, oh, is, it it the cut? is it the cut? I, it, I didn't see it, though. It looks to me like Chavez just said, I've had it. I think that may be right. In which case, it would go down as a TKO victory for Katsidis. Game, though. Katsidis trying to turn those hooks right into the head of Earl. But he keeps winging over the right hand, John. And he just seems to be getting through with it. But Earl, you know, to his credit, he's staying tight, John. And he's trying to meet this guy wherever he wants it. There's a lot of headshots have landed on Graham Earl. And Katsidis looking to open up. And he's put him down in the opening round. In the opening round, the left hand put him down. And Earl really looks winded by that he's looking closely at mickey van's count and he's got to his feet but he's still on unsteady legs mickey van says walk towards me and i'm not sure that earl is in too good a state to continue but he's allowed to do so he may be one big punch away from defeat he's down again in the opening round in the opening round and his earls got almost straight up and i don't think that this fight can go on can it the bell's about to sound and Katsidis is almost looking to sprint in. There goes the bell. It's going to go down again, surely. Mickey Vance having a close look at this one. And he doesn't want to take too many more of these. Two more Straight thudding right Straight hands. And Mickey Vance looking one, for the three. moment when he has to leap in. And it could be any second now. As Earl does no more than just try to cover up. But bravely. And the fans respond as he rolls those two terrific right hooks. And look at this for sheer guts from Graham Earl. Yeah, but John Cassidis is world class. He's not putting everything into every punch. He's trying to pick the... Oh, good right hand. Terrific right hand, and that must be the end of it, surely. He's got up to his feet. Oh, it's savage. These punches are savage. These guys are putting everything into... Oh, every punch. Oh, that is extraordinary. Well, well... Defense slipping shots, forget it. And here comes Katsidis gambling, trying to get Earl out of there. I can't count every shot here. There are dozens going in. But somehow Earl stays on his feet and comes back with that. All around this stadium, people are standing up and cheering. One good shot from Earl and this one would be over. I know he's taken a hell of a lot, John. But Katsidis has nearly punched himself out now. Well, Johnny Eames is saying to Graham Earl, you're getting hit too much, I want to pull you out. They're going to retire him, and the fight is all over. Graham Earl is defeated. He's been retired in his own corner. Johnny Eames has done what Eddie Futch did. Right. Claret Trunks, remember, of Kevin Mitchell, trying to do it here for East London. The latest in a long line of very stylish, talented Cockney fighters. Cassidis has got him here! Cassidis has got him with one, shook him up. Mitchell holding on, trying to buy time. And Dave Parrish steps in there at a vital time, maybe. He was certainly shaken up. Bad moments, these, for Mitchell. Mitchell has to come and he has to grab hold, he has to survive here. He should not be fighting back. He doesn't have the experience at this level. He's badly stunned. Well, he had to come through a torrid sixth round against Carl Johansson earlier on in his career. Mitchell, he did that in the British title fight, but this is much more serious. Can he keep his head in what is now a crisis? The legs don't look too clever to me, Jim. There's no power in these punches because the legs don't look too clever. Although that was better. He got some leverage into that left hand. He got one with... Just there, him to buzz up Katsidis for a moment there. But Katsidis will keep on throwing. He knows he's had Mitchell in trouble here. Mitchell somehow needs to get through this round, but there's a long, long time left in the round, Jim. There's a confused look in Kevin's face as though he's still stunned by those punches. He took some tremendous shots there, certainly nothing wrong with his chin. Legs are looking a little bit stronger again. He's on the move. Needs to get life back in those legs. Katsidis is just going to tee off on him, and one other shot could shake him up. But I think Katsidis has been hurt once or twice in this round. Mitchell can punch two. What drama here we have in round three.
and the snap is back and Mitchell's punches again. Oh, oh big left hook has hurt him. He's out of it here. It's going to be stopped. It is all over. Kevin Mitchell's dream has died and Michael Katsinas has blown him away in the third round. This tear away Australian has ripped up the script here tonight. And this is the point where he had to clinch or he had to take a knee, had to do something to stop the punches coming his way, but he's been rolled around by the punches. No choice but for referee Dave Paris to step in and stop that. Big, big left hook, I think. Watch this in here, there's a big left hook, and I think that really there, there, that's it, he's gone then. More punches, referee took exactly the right step there, he had to save.